Come on. Bring it. Serve it up. Why don't you put a little mustard on it? I was thinking more Grey Poupon. Tasty. I'll ask you one last time. Who do you work for? And I'll tell you one last time, yo mama. Yo, yo mama? You work for the cellist? <sighs> Never mind. Whomever it is, I can only assume you and your employer have been trying to get your hands on this. The D4, world's smallest bomb. Heat activated and capable of wiping out an entire city block. That's insane, Dr. Mealbrow. No more insane than three beautiful ex-cons working for a clandestine government organization, trying to rid the world of all wrongdoing. Yeah. Yeah, no, actually. That's the point. Tastes like chicken. Cassie, what are you doing? When that capsule warms to your body temperature, it'll detonate. Sucks for me. But on the other hand, sucks harder for you. This little bad boy goes off, you, your lab, and early man over there, all taken off the menu. Get her out of here. Oh, cool. no. Nah, you know what? I think I'm gonna... Hang with my buddies. Um, Cassie, it's not like we're that close. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with you later. And now I was planning on saving you guys. Get them down now. Oh, ye of little faith. Get them out of here. Once in a while, an elite crime-fighting team emerges. Highly sophisticated Whoa, co- wait a minute. Excuse me, in case nobody noticed, I just swallowed a live bomb. Do you really think this is the right time to be running credits? All right, I've got to gag this thing up. Help me out here. Gwyneth Paltrow's Oscar dress. Mm. Sex with Tom Arnold. Definitely knocking at the hatch, but you got to do a little better. Roseanne having sex with Tom Arnold? shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. pick with you. And I was hoping for a boneless day. We're very glad you stopped Dr. Mealbrow, but we were hoping not to detonate the bomb. It was a block full of empty warehouses. Nobody else got hurt. 
Wait a minute, what is that above your lip? Uh, nothing's nothing. I don't know, she's right. There's definitely something there. It looks like an anchovy. I was thinking more some kind of skin disease. I thought a whole bunch of little gnats or bugs of some kind all gathered above your lip at the same time. What, the third one always has to be funnier than the first two? Okay, okay. It's a mustache. I'm growing a mustache, all right? How come? How come? I asked you first. I don't know how come. Because nothing else is working, okay? I, I have been having a lot of luck lately. You know, romance-wise. So, um, I thought that a change of pace, or a change of face, you might say, would uh, open up possibilities for me. I'm surprised, Jack. I don't care what these other two say, you are a very attractive man. Facial hair is a tried and true method of enhancing one's masculinity and broadening one's appeal to the opposite sex. I don't care to discuss it any further. Understand? Mm. Mm -hmm. Good. We have a new assignment. He'll turn your attention to the plasma screen. Jack, I'd go out with you. You would? If you weren't my boss. Me too. Under any other circumstance? Absolutely. You know, if it weren't for the whole work thing. This isn't helping me. If you'd once again turn your attention to the plasma screen. America's pride, our valuable textile industry. It accounts for $68 billion in trade and provides over 180,000 jobs. But now, it's America's shame. Why? Because factories are closing by the dozens and jobs are disappearing by the thousands. And all because of one man, Frederico Martini. Ironically, he's Scandinavian, not Italian. He does, however, have a strong fondness for Spumoni. How is he shutting down an entire industry? by stealing trade secrets from the designers. The entire fall lines of Calvin Lauren, Donna Klein, Dolce Spade, then knocking off cheap imitations in sweatshops around the world. Can you tell the real from the fake? Not I. And above all, the question remains, how is Martini stealing the trade secrets? <laughs> You really do need to date more. Yes, well, <clears throat> he seems to be getting help from one of two world-famous supermodels. Ooh, do we get to punish them too? Katya and Karg, last name's unknown or maybe they're first, who knows, anyway. We believe Martini's using one of them to smuggle the trade secrets across international borders. Models get to cross virtually unchecked. Now you'll be working undercover with the models to help figure out which one could lead us to Martini. Mm, sounds like fun. You're kidding me, Jack. We really have to work with models? No. No, you don't. We're democracy here. All those opposed say I'd rather go back to prison. Mm. <laughs> Shane, it'll be your job to get us in. Ooh. Ah. Uh, have you ever experienced the pleasure of roughing? College, but we didn't call it that. Huh. Oh, that can't be good for you. Oh, no pain, no gain. Oh, I like my motto better. No pain, no pain. <laughs> I'd rethink that if I were you. I can tell by your posture that gravity's already robbing valuable inches from you. By massaging muscles and joints, Rolfing can help restore those inches. I'll stick to my Jimmy Choo stilettos. You're making me very tired hovering there like that. Well then, let me get to the point. I'm the creative director of a new undergarments company, Sensuality. Sensuality? Yes, as in sensual needs sensible. It's the stupidest name I ever heard. Well, excuse me, I thought that was something of a clever name. <laughs> Regardless, we're looking for the proper image to launch our line, and who better than you two with your cutting edge looks and international appeal to represent our products? Uh, with one small adjustment. We'd like you to work with a third model. Outrageous! How dare you even suggest it? For this amount of money. 
Always wanted to try a trio. Three's company, I always say. Guys, this is Ilva Gallo, the world's foremost expert on model training. She'll be running you through a couple of exercises to help determine which one of you is best suited for this particular cover. I'll make this easy on you. I don't want to do it. Standing around all day taking pictures with a bunch of air balls? Now my- Silence! Let's start off with a simple word association. I will throw out a series of words or phrases and you respond back. I say cat, you say dog. But you keep it inside. Mm -hmm. Let it live in a private place. Silence. Express it only in movement. Understand? OK, Didi. Ice tea. No, 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 darling, what are we doing? Playing a game of charades? No, I know what it's like to drink a glass of iced tea. I want you to show me how it makes you feel. All right, let's try it again. Iced tea. <sighs> okay, good, yes. Cab driver, doesn't have change. Good, okay, let's move on. Baby wants a bottle. Bunny wants a carrot. Polly wants a cracker. Okay, reverse, faster. Polly wants a cracker. Bunny wants a carrot. Baby wants a bottle. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> All right, why don't you sit down and rest? Sit down and rest. Okay, now you. And we begin. Ambrosia. What the hell's ambrosia? It is the nectar of the gods. It is also a very popular dessert consisting of orange and coconut shavings. Well, which is it? It could be whichever one you want it to be. I don't want it to be either because I don't want to do this. All right, well, I think we've seen enough here to make an informed decision. Why don't we confer with Miss Gallo for a minute? All right, listen, I just can't. What's wrong with you? Did Heidi Klum steal your lunch money? Yeah, trust me. Sorry, sorry, uh -huh. sorry, just do it. We have a verdict. And uh, although you've made this a tough decision, we can only pick one of you. We've decided to go with... Kathy. Sorry, Cassie, but Ilva made a good point. Your obnoxious Angelina, why me attitude is exactly what any girl needs to be the perfect model. Sorry, Deeds. You call. Ah, Miguel, come here. I have something I want to show you. It looks like we have another twig to snap. I'm thinking the Hasselblad. Strobe, polarizing filter. Give it that French connection, urban grit sort of feel. I don't remember Jean Hackman wearing a thong. Look at her. She's savage. She's a brute. A beastie girl. I gotta tell you, these breakfast burritos just don't fill a gal up like those deep fried double cheese pork puffs from bowling alley. Bye. No thanks. I just purged. And I think I'm just about to. So I guess we'll be working together, huh? Is this your first time? Yeah. Started when I was 14. Got scouted out of food court back in Missoula. Just got my first big spread though. Vogue. L. Guns and ammo. I was Miss May and Miss June. Too much firepower for one issue to hold. There I was, straddling a howitzer, AK in one hand, Glock in the other, wearing nothing but a gun belt and a smile. Tick tock, people. Ready to shoot. Let's move. Yeah. 
What was that? Guns and ammo was in part of your cover. Talk to Ilva. I'm working on my obnoxious attitude here. Our crippling inability as a culture to mount a defense against the onset of cynicism. Sure, that's less than ideal. But what I really hate is watching you and Cassie do all the important work while I'm stuck chopping celery sticks. Oh, come on, that's not true. I understand you cut the carrots, too. Kid each other, right? Absolutely. So anyway, it's your turn now. Jack did a background on Katya and Karg to figure out if either one of them had some sort of regular eating pattern that we can use. Mm, let me guess. Katya has a meal every time there's an eclipse of the moon. Whether she's hungry or not. Karg, on the other hand, eats very well. <laughs> Judging by the chiseled abs, the beautifully contoured biceps, the almost golden luster of his skin, and that healthy, glad-to-be-alive glow behind those amazing green eyes. <laughs> You know, just something I, I noticed being around food. <laughs> Fortunately, your crush of the week has a habit. Cauliflower and beet juice smoothie every day at the same time. Now, all you have to do is lace the next one with R1132. <laughs> Car will sit down, takes a cat nap. I'll take a look in the trailer to see if there's anything that links him to Martini. And you are free. Take five. Moving on. Let's set up in the meat locker. I'm drained. I need a smoothie. I bet you travel a lot in this job, huh? Hmm. It's my first time in LA, but I worked in Topeka, Omaha, Laughlin. What about you? Try Berlin, Kashmir, the Andes. The Andes, that's right, I saw that spread. You were so aloof with those Indians. Wasn't that um, Martini Textiles? That's a manufacturer, not a designer. Oh, right. I get confused by all the details. Oh, gee, what a pity. Because this job is all about the details. From the shape of your eyes, your lips, your nose, and where you choose to stick that nose. So, Miss uh, <laughs> Guns and Ammo, why don't you go back to your trailer? Oh, and I mean the one you have here, as opposed to the one you live in. Inhale another ton of saturated fats and worry about your own details. What up? And this better not be that tap crap. I was really impressed with the way he did that. Oh, sure, he likes that view lighting now. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Uh, see if there's a file of facts or you know, any other kind of date planner laying around. Huh. Here we go. What do you got? Right here, Tuesday, 10.45 p.m. Commit industrial espionage. Oh, and look, there's even an address. Come on, Jack. Work with me here. Point me in a direction. A model's mind is simple. If they're looking to conceal something important, they put it in a place they wouldn't forget. Okay, where would that be? Amongst their concealers. Mm. This is delicious. Mm. Would you like a sip? Oh, no thanks. I'm not a big beet girl. It reminds me of my grandmother's borscht. And that reminds me of staying at her house. And that reminds me of the time my grandfather's teeth fell into my soup bowl. So, anyway, 
I try and stay away from beets. Okay, but you're missing out on some pretty important nutrients. Like I always say, be good to your bowels, and they'll be good to you. That's a very interesting philosophy. I have it on a kitchen sampler next to my fridge. Mm. This guy's got more makeup than I do. Yeah, but is there anything that ties him to Martini? There's one more bag. It's locked. Get it open. I struggled forever. It was weeks between arriving in Los Angeles and getting my first modeling gig, which was a television commercial for flea and tick collars, which is crazy when you think about it, trying to get those little collars on the fleas and the ticks like that. I was married once, did I tell you that? It's exactly as you'd expect it to be. She was a glass blower I met in a Las Vegas strip club. It's over, though. No need to worry about it. You can get a bell captain to annul those things for you, can't you? Anyway, places to meet, people to go. Do you know how to get back to my trailer from here? Dee Dee Stahl, Shane's not out yet. Shane, the clock's ticking. I'm working on it. Clark, wait! I was wondering, um, what you thought about the fact that the recent trade imbalance in the Far East has created an international diplomatic standoff that partisan politics is ill-equipped to handle and that relations with China will continue Whoa. to... Suddenly, I'm feeling very sleepy, and this substantial conversation <laughs> isn't even about me. Why don't you have a seat? No, I think I'd be more comfy in my trailer. Jane, I lost him. He's heading your way. Oh, God. All right, um, thanks, Shane. Come on, come on, come on. If I were a model, what would my combination be? Uh, models think simple. One, two, three. <sighs> what the? <sighs> Somebody do something. Clark! You are a dead man. I'm a very tired man, and I don't really no, want to no. talk. Don't speak. We speak only when spoken to. Now, I've been trying to take the high road all morning, but you are blocking my light out there, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Look. No, you look. You're a light hog, and if you so much as try and take one-tenth of an f-stop away from me again, you are going to see me mad, and you don't want to see me mad. Do you know why? Why? Because mad is bad. Repeat after me. Mad is bad. Mad is bad? Louder. Mad is bad. That's good. Mad is good? Of course not. It's bad. Mad is bad or mad is good? Mad is bad, and that's what's good. It's good that it's bad? And it's bad that it's good. Mad is bad, and bad is good, so that means that mad is good for being bad. And don't you forget it. Cassie, that was amazing. Self-involved, nonsensical. You really are one of us. Let's shoot this thing. Thanks, that was close. You could have gone a little easier on Karg. I tried to use one-syllable words. Yes, yeah, speaking of K-Boy, all we found under lock and key was a purple teddy bear. Purple teddy bear? That's so... Creepy. What's that? It's for you. <whistles> to my newest recruit, I know your dirty little secret. Do as I say and no one else will find out. Martini. He's reaching out to you. Well, what's my dirty little secret? Let me explain. Creating cover is an art form. Not only do you need the big brush strokes, such as the date of birth, occupation, etc., but you also need to plant a skeleton in the closet for Martini to find. He did. And this proves that he's extorting the models to get what he wants. So you buried something in my cover. What was it? Uh, it's a proclivity. So to speak. A proclivity for. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to speak up? Stiffing glue. I'm a glue sniffer. A uh, recovering glue sniffer. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's very common for models to battle addiction. Pills, powder. Yeah, but epoxy. Oh, I'm actually quite impressed that Martini dug that out. I had that buried pretty deeply. Uh, unfortunately for him, he showed his hand. Blackmail. He must have some scandalous piece of information on either Katya or Karg, and he must be using it to manipulate them into stealing trade secrets. 
Yeah, all we have to do now is figure out which one of them has a secret that Martini could use against them. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm a glue sniffer. Karg has been seen slipping in and out of a downtown loft several times in the past week. Now, whatever's happening there is highly secretive, possibly very dangerous. I want you to check it out and be very careful. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, we're friends of Karg's. What's your mammal? Um, I'm sorry, mammal? Yeah, well, I for one find this refreshing. I am so burnt out on the whole what's your sign. Oh, uh, funny. Our mammals. Funny. He's got something on Katya, and it has to do with where she lives. It's apartment 2B, and this still doesn't make sense. Katya has a beautiful condo in the hills. Why is she paying rent in a one bedroom in a rundown tenement? 2B. 2B. Or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Excuse me, Cassie. This ain't exactly Shakespeare. A girl can dream, can't she? Hold on, hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. You got my tiki masala? Excuse me? You got my tiki masala? I ordered Indian food. Believe it, is that the delivery guy? If it is, we're gonna order from them every night. Actually, I was looking for Katya. Katya? What do you want with our daughter? Your daughter? Mom, Dad, who's at the door? Glad I didn't say wildebeest. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Neither do I. Does the minuet anymore? There's a good bear. Purple Teddy, 10 o'clock. Watch my tail. I'm going in. Car? It's me, Dee Dee, the craft service girl. Dee Dee, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, same old, same old. It was either come here tonight or we grab the tile. Are you telling me that you're, uh, of the lifestyle? that you're a furry? A furry? Someone who dresses up as the land-based quadruped of his or her choice and enjoys the indescribable pleasure of one-on-one -on -one contact with another furry? You mean anonymous sex? No, I mean petting and scratching and picking imaginary lice off of one another. Well, I have been known to work on the wild side. <laughs> Dee Dee, now that you know our secret, I am begging you. Forget you ever saw me here. If this got out, it would ruin me. My career would be destroyed. I'd lose everything I've ever worked for. People just don't understand what we're about. Get your paws off me, you pervert. Bad Miss Moore, that's Sog Pioneer. <laughs> Not with your cholesterol. How are you going to deprive such a pretty face of its pleasure? <laughs> you sure you don't want to join us? This man bread is out of this world. We're fine, Dad. You have to promise to keep this between us. Your family is great. Oh, my adopted family. Family is family. Those guys are nothing to be embarrassed about. Oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. It's just that in the modeling world, you have to create a mystique. During my first interview, when they asked me where I was from, I told them that I was raised by Viennese royalty who discovered me as an infant floating in a palm frond. And the lie stuck. Nobody mentioned there were no palm trees in Vienna? No, Cassie, I, I have an image to protect. In the modeling world, I am a Prada-wearing, vodka and Red Bull-drinking Euro modular with a techno music aura and a Mercier gel and creme de la mer attitude. Oh? Okay, look, the point being, I would be crucified if people knew that I was found in a dumpster and, and, and raised by 
Poor people. Well, that just leaves us with one question. How far will you go to protect your secret? Goodbye, Didi. But... Uh... Leaving so soon. We'd love to stay, but I don't know how the rest of you found sitters on a weeknight, so... Remove your masks. Remove your masks! You're not going anywhere. So, guys, this has been so great. But we're late for our dress as your favorite kitchen utensil party across town. Plus, I think I have a <coughs> hairball. There is only one way that an outsider is allowed to leave. You wear the costume of a bunny. So you must exit as a bunny. You want us to hop? We demand you hop. Gardening and collecting stamps. Cardiff Plaza, 15 minutes. We've got work to do. What are we doing there? Hmm. It's time for your initiation. Kathy was raised in a tenement? Or the whole thing with some glue-induced hallucination. And Karg has his furry fetish. Well, it looks like Martini's blackmailing both of them. If he gets his hands on those trade secrets, the livelihoods of thousands of factory workers may be at stake. So this is another one of those conversations where we both know all these things, but for some odd reason have to say them out loud? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I got the trace back on Cass's pager. Turns out those alpha messages sent to her originated from the Persimmon Spa in Brentwood. The place you first met Katya and Karg. Oh, it gets tastier. These are the blueprints to the Persimmon Spa. See how these power lines dead end at this wall? Yeah. I think there's something going on there that we don't know about. Martini's hideout. Oh, wouldn't that be delicious? I think after all these years, one of these places would learn to block the air vents. Does it really take three of us to steal some files? Martini's instructions were to download the Cordoff file design folder directly into a secure server that he set up and then get out. Wait, do you know what kind of information you're stealing? We've done this many times all over the world. The one thing we've learned is give Martini what he wants, don't ask questions. What if it could destroy lives? Think of it this way. If we don't do what we're told, the only lives that'll be destroyed will be our own. Come to Papa. Mr. Martini, the power company's here. What do they want? Well, they're inquiring about the power lines, the ones that run in here. Ah, Miguel, how much jail time do you think one serves for killing a um, meter reader? I don't think it'll have to come to that. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but this really isn't a very good time. See, the spa's conducting a silence workshop. You'll have to reschedule. Well, if you send us away now, we're gonna have to levy a fine. Send us a bill. I keep telling Jack, life would be so much easier if we could just kick down the door and punch our way through these problems. Yep. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like we're not the only criminals here. Cubans.
files. What happened? This is why I hate art. It's always alarmed. We gotta go. The Scots are at this? They bungled it! Oh, oh models. <laughs> they'll fail you. Every time, they'll fail you in the end. Well, I guess it's time to, as they say, to remodel. You know what you've done? It's been a couple of minutes. Refresh me. Martini said one failed job and we're through. He'd expose our secrets. The whole world will know what we are. That's it? No more monogrammed cups for my fruit juice? No more electric belt rack? The whole point of being a model is to sell sex, and who's gonna want to have sex with a plush file Yeah, not to mention someone raised on Hamburger Helper and paint chips. You guys can't really believe that matters. Katya, who cares where you grew up? Some of the greatest sex symbols of our time came from poor backgrounds. And Karg. Well, you just need a good drink. Okay, what we really need is a good place to hide. Martini is a dangerous man. If he finds us, our careers aren't the only thing that'll be dead. Don't worry. I know people who can protect you. As long as you stay close to me, no one is gonna lay a hand on you. Ask me another brewski, dude. I think I just smashed the last one over my head. I've never had a lasting and meaningful relationship. I like fake boobs the best, and I'm wearing two-day-old underwear. Yeah, I'll sleep with anything as long as you got most of your teeth and no hair on her back. <laughs> hey, want to see me light my fart? All right! <laughs> Not that hard being a guy. I always figured it was the easier gig. Oh, here they are. These wires should lead us right under the spa and into that hidden room. All right. Nice loogie. Guys never compliment each other on their loogies. Sorry, don't let it happen again. Don't. An associate of mine asked me one time, he said, Federico, why do you use fashion models to carry out such top secret missions? Mm. Oh, sure, they travel around the world, flying from country to country on private jets. They are celebrity helping them slip past customs agents. They are physiques making it easy for them to get in and out of sticky situations. But the real reason why they're my choice of weapons, they have such a short shelf life. Models come, models go, never to be missed so long as there's another pretty face to replace them. Start with the glue sniffer. And I was hoping to be remembered for my math skills. Power company! What are you doing here? Do you know our model? You can end Ron, but you can't hide. for buddy. Let's see if we can add a few inches on that. Sorry! Now you. Well, well, well. Dire straits. Simple minds. Echo and the bunny man. And now, time for another 80s favorite to join us on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, the sweatshop boy. One thing you don't know, I like my martini shaken.
and stirred. And so a grateful nation applauded as these former convicts saved tens of thousands of jobs, captured the evildoers, and made two supermodels even more super, convincing them to bravely admit their secrets to the world. Jack's program of taking criminals from prison to fight crime was deemed a rousing success. The records of Cassie, Dee, Dee and Shane were expunged, and all three were freed from the program and allowed to get on with the rest of their lives. Are you guys listening? I just said thank you to all of you. For the great job we did. Um, right. Right, of course. And for, you know, setting me up with Katya. We're going out tonight uh, without the mustache. Uh, look, I know you all dream of the day when you're free of this job and get your lives back to yourselves, but I just want you to know, for me, it's not so bad having you around. And it's not so bad being around either. Yeah, the jobs are kind of exciting. They even have a certain nobility. So, what do we get to be next? Mud wrestlers. Why don't you put a little mustard on it? I was thinking more Grey Poupon. Tasty. I'll ask you one last time. Who do you work for? And I'll tell you one last time, yo mama. Yo, yo, ma. You work for the cellist? <sighs> Never mind. Whomever it is, I can only assume you and your employer have been trying to get your hands on this. D4, world's smallest bomb. Heat activated and capable of wiping out an entire city block. Insane, Dr. Mealbrow. No more insane than three beautiful ex-cons working for a clandestine government organization, trying to rid the world of all wrongdoing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, that's the point. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Cassie, what are you doing? When that capsule warms to your body temperature, it'll detonate. Sucks for me. But on the other hand, sucks harder for you. This little bad boy goes off, you, your lab, and early man over there, all taken off the menu. Get her out of here. Oh, go now. Nah, you know what? I think I'm gonna... with my buddies. Um, Cassie, it's not like we're that close. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch up with you later. And <laughs> now I was planning on saving you guys. Get them down now. <gasps> oh, ye of little faith. Get them out of here. Yeah. 
Every once in a while, an elite crime-fighting team emerges. Highly sophisticated Whoa, co- wait a minute. possibilities for me? I'm surprised, Jack. I don't care what these other two say, you are a very attractive man. Facial hair is a tried and true method of enhancing one's masculinity and broadening one's appeal to the opposite sex. I don't care to discuss it any further. Understand? Mm. Good. We have a new assignment. He'll turn your attention to the plasma screen. Jack, I'd go out with you. You would? If you weren't my boss. Me too. Under any other circumstance? Absolutely. You know, if it weren't for the whole work thing. This isn't helping me. If you'd once again turn your attention to the plasma screen. America's pride, our valuable textile industry. It accounts for $68 billion in trade and provides over 180,000 jobs. But now, it's America's shame. Why? Because factories are closing by the dozens and jobs are disappearing by the thousands. And all because of one man, Frederico Martini. Ironically, he's Scandinavian, not Italian. He does, however, have a strong fondness for Spumoni. How is he shutting down an entire industry? by stealing trade secrets from the designers. The entire fall lines of Calvin Lauren, Donna Klein, Dolce Spade, then knocking off cheap imitations in sweatshops around the world. Can you tell the real from the fake? Not I. And above all, the question remains, how is Martini stealing the trade secrets? <laughs> You really do need to date more. Yes, well, <clears throat> he seems to be getting help from one of two world famous supermodels. Ooh, do we get to punish them too? Katya and Karg, last names unknown or maybe they're first, who knows, anyway. We believe Martini is using one of them to smuggle the trade secrets across international borders. Models get to cross virtually unchecked. Now you'll be working undercover with the models to help figure out which one could lead us to Martini. Mm, sounds like fun. You're kidding me, Jack. We really have to work with models? No. No, you don't. We're democracy here. All those opposed say I'd rather go back to prison. Mm. Shane, it'll be your job to get us in. Ooh. Uh. Uh, have you ever experienced the pleasure of roughing? College, but we didn't call it that. Huh. Oh, that can't be good for you. Oh, no pain, no gain. Oh, I like my motto better. No pain, no pain. <sighs> I'd rethink that if I were you. I can tell by your posture that gravity's already robbing valuable inches from you. By massaging muscles and joints, Rolfing can help restore those inches. I'll stick to my Jimmy Choo stilettos. <laughs> You're making me very tired hovering there like that. Well then, let me get to the point. I'm the creative director of a new undergarments company, Sensuality. Sensuality? Yes, as in sensual needs sensible. It's the stupidest name I ever heard. Well, excuse me, I thought that was something of a clever name. Regardless, we're looking for the proper image to launch our line, and who better than you two with your cutting-edge looks and international appeal to represent our products? Uh, with one small adjustment. We'd like you to work with a third model. Outrageous! How dare you even suggest For this amount of money. Always wanted to try a trio. Three's company, I always say. Guys, this is Ilva Gallo, the world's foremost expert on model training. She'll be running you through a couple of exercises to help determine which one of you is best suited for this particular cover. I'll make this easy on you. I don't want to do it. Standing around all day taking pictures with a bunch of air balls? Now my- Silence! Let's start off with a simple word association. I will throw out a series of words or phrases and you respond back. I say cat, you say dog. But you keep it inside. 
Mm-hmm. Let it live in a private place. Silence. Express it only in movement. Understand? Okay, Didi. Ice tea. No, 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 no. <laughs> what are we doing? Playing a game of charades? No. I know what it's like to drink a glass of iced tea. I want you to show me how it makes you feel. All right, let's try it again. Ice tea. <sighs> okay, good. Yes. <gasps> Cab driver doesn't have change. Good, okay. Let's move on. Baby wants a bottle. Bunny wants a carrot. Polly wants a cracker. Okay, reverse, faster. Polly wants a cracker. Bunny wants a carrot. Baby wants a bottle. Excuse me, in case nobody noticed, I just swallowed a live bomb. Do you really think this is the right time to be running credits? All right, I gotta gag this thing up. Help me out here. Gwyneth Paltrow's Oscar dress. Mm. Sex with Tom Arnold. Definitely knocking at the hatch, but you gotta do a little better. Roseanne having sex with Tom Arnold? with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. with you and I was hoping for a boneless day we're very glad you stopped dr. Mealbrow, but we were hoping not to detonate the bomb it was a block full of empty warehouses nobody else got hurt wait a minute what is that above your lip uh, nothing's nothing I know she's right there's definitely something there it looks like an anchovy I was thinking more some kind of skin disease I thought a whole bunch of little gnats or bugs of some kind all gathered above your lip at the same time what, the third one always has to be funnier than the first two? Okay, okay. It's a mustache. I'm growing a mustache, all right? How come? How come? I asked you first. I don't know how come. Because nothing else is working, okay? I, I have been having a lot of luck lately. You know, romance-wise. So, um, I thought that a change of pace, or a change of face, you might say, would uh, open up... Oh, brilliant! <laughs> All right, why don't you sit down and rest, sit down and rest. Okay, now you. And we begin. Ambrosia. What the hell's ambrosia? It is the nectar of the gods. It is also a very popular dessert consisting of orange and coconut shavings. Well, which is it? It could be whichever one you want it to be. I don't want it to be either because I don't want to do this. All right, well, I think we've seen enough here to make an informed decision. Why don't we confer with Miss Gallo for a minute? All right, listen, I just can't listen. What's wrong with you? Did Heidi Klum steal your lunch money? Yes, of course, because... uh -huh. just do it. We have a verdict. And uh, although you've made this a tough decision, we can only pick one of you. We've decided to go with... Hmm. 
Sorry, Cassie, but Ilva made a good point. Your obnoxious Angelina, why me attitude is exactly what any girl needs to be the perfect model. Sorry, Deeds. Sir, you call. Ah, Miguel, come here. I have something I want to show you. It looks like we have another twig to snap. I'm thinking the Hasselblad. Strobe, polarizing filter. Give it that French connection, urban grit sort of feel. I don't remember Jean Hackman wearing a thong. Look at her. She's savage. She's a brute. A beastie girl. I gotta tell you, these breakfast burritos just don't fill a gal up like those deep-fried double-cheese pork puffs from bowling alley. Wait! Oh, no thanks. I just purged. And I think I'm just about to.